Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, December the 21st. This is Anne Marie talking about SPY. We had a nasty little rumor come out last night, said that the deal talks were dead, that Plan B would not pass, and we got a monstrous wick in the ES all the way down to 139125. Now, I'm not quite sure if uh, Spy did that. Let me check very quickly on one of these other screens here. Spy came down into, ah, okay. The low actually didn't occur until this morning at 5.30 on relatively light volume, <coughs> relatively light volume. I mean, not monstrous. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say if we sell short here, that's gonna be a bad idea. Um, expecting this this one to pop. Not sure into where, and I'm never gonna trade what I expect unless I've got evidence that suggests that that's the appropriate thing to do. Okay, so that being said. Uh, the low seems to have been 141.9, 141.88 would be this, so it would have held this region right here. All right, and so I can take this and move it out of the way. Let's. Uh, Let's put it where we think it's going to have congestion and possibly resistance problems. Potentially right there, though that's kind of soft. And my general anal retentiveness is making me very uptight with the way these time things, these price things are looking. All right, so here we are, um, 141, 90 was the baseline event for this. So it's pulled all the way back down here. That's a lot of movement. Straight through the monthly VWAP and uh, still sitting well below it as we clock in at 142.40 at this present time. So what do we look at today? Uh, my thought is today's options expiry Friday. It is the monthly op options expiration. And so we do normally have a little bit of volatility during the day, a little bit of sideways action. And, and uh, sometimes we've had some very, very nice explosive days in some of our favorite stocks on options expiry. But for the last few months, I've noticed it being very flat and quiet. I told folks that, um, folks that are in the room, I said, hey, listen, we're going to look for one uh, pretty good trending day this week, and we did have it. Now we're in a space where we've come to the end of the month, and there's a possibility that we have ourselves another sideways, nasty, choppy, uneventful options expiry. But it is a solstice. There is a Bradley day tomorrow. Uh, the end of the world has passed, and those of us surviving are moving right along. So, you know, all kinds of things can happen during the course of the day today. Suffice to say that what I'll be looking at because of this hyperextension pullback that again is extremely swift, it should pop us up. So shorting into an event that looks like this is generally unwise unless it's come up and hit some kind of relative resistance. A lot of newer traders go, gosh, you know, I see this pullback. Is it done? It starts pulling back a little bit more. They get involved and then it's too late, right? Remember that psychology event makes us wait because we really want to be right. And that waiting event is sometimes uh, inappropriate. Okay, so good luck trading today. The levels 143, uh, an easy test event in my mind, and we are, you know, 54 cents away from that at this particular juncture. And so I do see that as a, a, a very inevitable test. And then there's 143.85. Now, if we get up there and start shaking around, we'll have to make some other decisions, but 
So far, watch for this gap to fill. Hey, have a good day. <laughs> See you guys later.